Hi, I'm Brian Lane, Senior Product Manager for Imaging Software at Schneider Electric. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to set up a profile for video analytics. What you're looking at right now is the web GUI for a Spectre HD camera. It's going to look the same with the exception of the, uh, the uh, presets and tours and the ability to control uh, the camera over here on the side for a uh, Serex fixed camera or a thermal camera. Okay. Now from this particular uh, window, you want to go to Settings. And then from Settings, you want to click on Analytic Configuration under the Events pull-down. Okay, and this pulls up the Analytic Setup screen. Now under the Analytic Setup screen, in this area right here, is where you're going to see your profiles. We want to create a new profile in this particular case. If you have a Spectre HD, you'll see this window. If you have a Serex fixed or thermal camera, you won't see this window. The reason for this window is that you can choose a preset for your particular profile. I've got three presets set up, parking lot, door, and storage area. For this particular scene, I want to choose door, and I want to name the profile something meaningful that I can remember later on. In this case, I'm going to call it East Door. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, and I'm going to click on Add Profile. Now the reason why I named it 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. is one of the reasons why you might want to have different profiles. So in this particular profile, I might want to run a set of analytics, for example, maybe directional motion and uh, camera sabotage, for example, to run from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. during work hours. But I may want to have a different profile run from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. that maybe is adaptive motion. So that's the reason why you might want to have different profiles. If you have a PTZ, you may actually want to choose a different preset to run a different, completely different scene from a different part of the day as well. Okay? You can do this manually or you can schedule it with Inspector HD. Okay, so under the profile here is the profile settings. Okay, once again, you won't see the camera preset setting for a fixed camera, but you could still select one of your presets if you'd like here for a Spectre HD. Under Scene Type, you can choose Indoor or Outdoor. And the reason for these two particular settings is, is they're optimized for an indoor or outdoor scene. So an analytic, for example, needs to know um, is the scene busy or not. An indoor scene is typically going to be less busy the walls and the lighting, for instance, are going to remain pretty much static. But an outdoor scene, there's more movement, the lighting changes, you may have leaves blowing in the wind, for example. So um, the, scene, the scene type will be different for an outdoor. And in this particular case, we are an outdoor scene, so I'm going to select outdoor. Under background, you can choose still or noisy. And what the background basically is, it defines how much noise is in the background of the scene. For example, leaves on a tree or lighting that's flickering would be considered a noisy scene. Noise in the video would also be considered noisy if, for instance, if you're trying to put an analytic in a very dark scene. Okay. Now this is a fairly flat scene, so I'm going to choose still. Now remember, when you set these up, you're setting them up for the very first time and you may have to do some tweaking. So later on I may come back and decide that it's more of a noisy scene. So for fine tuning you can choose aggressive, normal, or conservative. And what the fine tuning basically has to do with is the speed of the objects that you're trying to detect. So for example, if you're trying to detect cars, that would probably more be more aggressive. People walking through a door, for example, which I'm trying to do here, would be more conservative. So it depends on the field of view, and it's a time that someone is in the frame to out of the frame. So a lot of times you're going to want to do is just stick with normal as your setting, and then tweak it to aggressive or conservative depending on how the analytic behaves, which brings us to sensitivity. Now, under sensitivity, you can go from 1 to 10, 10 being the most sensitive. So how sensitive the analytic is picking up an object is basically what this this setting is for. So if you're having a number of false alarms, then you might want to back off on the sensitivity and the fine tuning. Um, if you are not getting enough triggers for your analytic 
uh, setting, you might want to increase the sensitivity. Okay. So what you want to do is after you've you've chosen your settings here, you want to make sure you save them. Okay. And then you want to make sure, and this is what people forget a lot of times, is to run your profile. Okay. So once you've done this, you've you've now uh, set up your profile, and once again, you may need to come back in here to change your profile settings to adjust them. This is the tweaking part of, of setting up your analytics. Thank you.